Raksha Group, Africa's leading data center operator, has unveiled the country's largest data center in the capital, Luanda. It's a $30 million facility and it's capable of delivering at least 3 megawatts of power. It aims to expand that rather to around 7 megawatts in the next five years. This facility can house at least 800 server racks. That's more than double the capacity of any existing data center in Angola at the moment. And it does meet tier three standards. That said, it will also be hosting Angola's internet exchange point with a view to enhancing internet speed and affordability in the country. That facility is 70% powered by renewable energy and it's Raksu's sixth such facility in Africa. Let's bring in Maria Miguel Pinto. She's the general manager covering Angola at Raksu Group. She's joining us now live on the program tonight. Maria, thank you for your time this evening. Walk us through the economics of setting up a data center of this size, a three megawatt facility in Angola, because over 60 percent of the country's electricity comes from hydroelectric dams. Was that and especially the cost of electricity, was that a key factor in setting up in the country? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, uh, actually, first of all, thank you so much for receiving me. It's a pleasure to be with you and all uh, all the people uh, at this time. Um, in Angola, um, the cost of energy uh, seems crazy, but it's cheap, okay? Um, they are planning, they start now to build some uh, photovoltaic and solar energy. This is done. And now in the paper, they are building the... Um, the, some some different uh, different ways to to gain energy. So it's a mixed country about energy, um, but for us uh, is not uh, a issue at all. Thank God. Indeed, I understand you also plan to more than double the existing capacity of this data center to at least seven megawatts over the next five years. Is most of that yes. capacity already committed with com with companies in the country or, or the region for that matter, having paid for it? Um, the first, uh, the first three megawatts we have, the first phase, uh, um, uh, is live, and we, we uh, have the launch event uh, today, um, and is enough for the, for what we need now. The demand uh, is completely clear um, for the, our local and regional uh, clients. Our plans for the next uh, next five years is to grow. We have everything prepared for the set seven megawatts. Um, and uh, we have an intent and a plan to be more than only Angola and be uh, an Africa hub um, because we have a huge footprint for technology in Angola. So it's very interesting market uh, with young people and prepared to this new digital transformation in data centers. Give, can you give us a sense of what the regional market is like? I mean, once you've set up a three megawatt facility of this sort in Luanda, what, what sort of regional market then looks like? Are you talking about clients coming in from, from the DRC, from Namibia, from other SADC countries? Are they the ones coming and saying, you know, we'd like to get some, some rack space here because that would, you know, make it easier for us to serve our clients in, in each of these countries? Um, basically, uh, in Angola, uh, our clients uh, is very diversified, okay? Um, the Angola market in kind of technology is very... Uh, very advantage. Of course, we are talking about AI in this moment, and uh, probably a lot of people saying, "Okay, it's too soon to start." But as always, we need to start. Okay, and the uh, one strength we have in our region is um, um, we prefer to start with with what we have uh, uh, instead be stopped. So um, our market is very interesting in that in that way. Um, we have uh, uh, the banks uh, completely well prepared for the, our data center, telecommunications, government, all the institutes are. Uh, uh, today, the Minister of Telecommunications said a very interesting thing. We are writing uh, the the white book for the technology. So everyone is uh, making their efforts to bring to Angola and to Africa the uh, white book for the technology with best practice to make sure when we talk about data centers and we go for the, the way for the hyperscalers, we have all the things uh, is needed, not only the energy, not only the um, the connections because we have subsea cables, so we are a big garden plant next to the sea, um, but also uh, to have in our land the big providers. So we are making all the preparations for that.
and be prepared because it will be very, very nice. Indeed, it's going to be interesting to see how much AI compute, of course, does set up uh, in that particular data center. Yeah. We'll leave it there for the time being, though. Maria Miguel Pinto, General Manager of the Raksha Group in Angola.